Hey guys, Jason here. In today's video, we're going to go over how to make a 3D relief model, and I'm going to go step by step from the very beginning. We're going to start a new model. I like to start with a large model, and we're going to be using a 30 by 30. I always like to make my models larger than their intended size, because when you shrink them down, it's easier to capture the detail if you create it large and then shrink it down. Okay, once we get our model started, I'm ready to bring in the bitmap that we're going to use. This is for a client of mine by his hands, Custom Woodworking, and he asked me to make this into a 3D model. So we're going to give it a shot. The first thing I'm going to need to do is vectorize this photo. So we're going to use our bitmap to vector tool. We're going to reduce the colors down to two black and white. I'm just looking to see how sharp my edges are. It looks like everything is pretty rounded. Now we've got some pixels we want to try and jump over here. So we're going to use a speckle size of 20 pixels. I'm going to increase the smoothness to 60%. That may be a little more rounded than I wanted. Let's drop it to 50%. I wonder if I keep dropping this down, if it's going to smooth this, this corner here. It looks like that angle just keeps increasing. So we probably would be better at 30 or 40%. Let's create those vectors. If we come back to our 3D view, now what I'm looking at here is the closed vector loop that makes up this hand. We actually want this circle to be independent of the hands. So what I'm going to need to do is a little node editing here to create this circle. Now guys, I'm making these cuts and inserts using keyboard shortcuts. The cut keyboard shortcut is C. The insert keyboard shortcut is I. So C for cut, and when I want to insert, press I. Now we have our hands separated from this circle. We do not need this vector or this vector. We're going to take all of these lines and we're going to use our spline vector tool. And I'm going to just do this to try and clean up some of the small amount of waviness. And then we're also going to use our arc fit vectors tool to turn it all back into arcs. Now we will have to go back and check for intersections because it will have moved these lines ever so slightly. And now we're ready to create our 3D model. The first thing I'm going to do is give the entire piece a base. And we're going to be using our shape editor to do this. And we're going to start by adding a plane to this base. Now, I'm going to start with a start height of a half an inch. Remember, we're making this fairly thick because when we size it back down, it will get much thinner. So we want to go ahead and build this model pretty thick at 30 by 30. So if I press apply, that is going to give our initial shape to our saw blades here. Now, what I plan to do is create a small recess here and so I just want to do maybe an eighth of an inch 1.25 and let's do subtract we're just gonna have a small recess that's gonna help that blade stand off from everything else as being separated press apply and now everything else I'm gonna try and make more of a raised so let's take these letters right here we're going to go to square. Now I've got the circle highlighted still, so let's undo that so that I only have my letters. Now 
We want to be adding these letters. And I'm going to turn off the vectors so we can kind of see what we're doing here. Now, I want these to stand proud a bit, probably more like an eighth of an inch. Let's see. Let's go ahead and go to a quarter of an inch. I like that better. Nice raised lettering. Let's um let's go ahead and try and add this tree swirl in the middle. I'm also going to use a square for this. We're going to try a couple of different things just to see what looks best. This may look better subtracted, maybe not so sh deep as well. Now what I'm looking at guys is the depth of this groove to see how deep this groove gets and it's pretty thin right there. Let's go back to an, an add see if we can play around with this. Now what might look nice let me cancel this. Let's go back to this particular drawing. I wonder if we separate it. If I were to let me go to my node editor. I'm just gonna make some node edits here. Let's do a cut here and a cut here and we'll join these two together with a curve now I want to join these two together also with a curve but I want them to go the same direction so let's bring this down I'm just trying to get these two arches very close or similar to each other yeah, that looks pretty good Go back to our shape editor. So what I'm going to try to do is create this tree using an angled plane so that it has a very tree-like look. And then for the swoosh part, I was thinking more of a round shape. Now I'm going to use the merge high function and, you know, maybe we push up uh, try and blend these two together. Let's see something here. Just making some, some alterations here to see what this looks like. It's not quite coming up at the end, at the tail over here. Point four. Now we're let's go back to point four. Point three five. Let's try point three eight. Yeah, I like that. It melds into the bottom of the tree here. There we go. Seven three six. Let me know, guys. What do you guys think? And let me know down in the comments. You think this is the right move? Would you have done something differently? I'm just kind of curious what you guys think here. Now what we can do is also take our smoothing tool here and uh, let's reduce our radius. We can do a small amount of blending. Uh, let's see, we needed uh, normal. I had it set to lower. Just come along this seam and sort of blend these two together. Right here. Now, close this. I really don't really like this part that's sticking up outside the tree over here. Wonder if I can, uh, let's see. Wonder if I go back to lower only. If I can smooth that out. Nope. Okay, guys, I'm not happy with that. I'm just going to undo it. I think uh, if we add some some nodes in here, we can shrink this point down and then widen it back out without having that meet there, node there. Just widen it from... Same thing here. I think if we just insert some nodes, we can change the geometry of this whole little meeting here. Bear with me, guys. I'm just uh, playing around with the shape of this. It's going to carry that part over. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to find the shape that's going to work. I don't know why I can't get this to meet here. I could just blend it. That doesn't look too bad. Let's see. We just blend these together, what this looks like. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I like it, guys. We're going to go with that. Now let's move on to the hands. Now I'm going to do these two parts separately and probably the thumbnails separately. The thumbnails are going to be close to the same height as these hands. We're going to go back to our shape editor and we will be adding a... Let's try a round. Now if I go ahead and add these fingers in, let's turn this off. That looks pretty good. It does look like hands. I don't like this this whatever this is let's let's join these together go to our node editor I'm gonna cut this here let's cut this here and 
Let's cut that right there. Get rid of that. I'm going to close that with a curve. And I want to close this one with a curve. Now, I don't need those two to be overlapping. So we want to change this out here ever so slightly. Okay, we're very close, but we're not touching. Now, let's highlight all of those hand pieces again. And let's try that again. Going to round. We're in the add. That looks much better. Now I think we may go back and add something to these blades to give it a little more depth. I do like the shape of the hands and the way those look. Let's go back here to this profile and turn my vectors back on. I think maybe if we do a offset vector to the inside and let's try an eighth of an inch. Um, let's do a little more than that. Let's go, let's try the quarter inch. Let's go, let's try a half an inch. Yeah, I like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a raised surface here. Let me turn this off. and a little more angled to give this kind of that bladed look. We're at a 45, so that's pretty good. I'm going to press apply. This is starting to look pretty good. I do think that the overall outside blade part could stand a little more proud. So I'm going to go back and add plane to this part. I just want to make it a little more proud. Let's turn this off so we can take a look. Give that inner line a little bit more definition. That looks pretty good. I think this is going to work. Now, the next thing I want to do is to make the carving of this look a lot smoother and a lot easier, I'd like to add a draft to all of my sign models and my components. And this will help uh, when carving. It's easier for the bit to carve up a slope than it is to carve a straight wall. It's easier to get it much cleaner. So by adding a draft to all of these components, it's going to make the carving a lot easier. And it's almost unnoticeable. It does give it a slight chamfer on the outside. But again, this will make the entire carve look a lot cleaner. It also worked in the letters as well. And it's very minute and hard to see. But there is a draft that was added to the model. And then our last step is going to be to smooth our relief. And we always want to do a little bit of smoothing to clean up any dirty edges we had. And that will help with anything that was jagged or wasn't quite smoothed over. And I try to stay under 25% because if you go more, you start losing the crispness of that detail. So be careful when using the smoothing tool. Now this is looking very nice. We're going to press apply and now we're ready to export this project by his hand custom woodworking. We would go to our create triangle mesh. I'm ready to create the project. Now we just need to save it. I'm going to call it by his hands and save and that's my STL. Guys, if you find this content valuable, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and leave us a comment. I'm curious if you guys would do something different here. So leave that in the comment too. Thanks guys. See you on the next one.